Hi everyone, this is Courtney with Texas Teacher Today. Um, some of you are needing help with the math section of the course subjects, so I thought I'd make a video on that today. Uh, earlier this week, I posted one on the first two questions of my free uh, math quiz, so I thought I'd do the next couple of questions. And I also want to let you know that I started a weekly course and tutoring so we'll meet every week and have an hour of tutoring and you'll get access to my course and it's very affordable. So if you're interested, let me know, but let's get started. Mr. Nguyen teaches fifth grade mathematics. His students are at various levels and he wants to meet the needs of all learners. What is the best way he can design instruction to meet the needs of all, learn all students? So there are different levels. He has to meet all of their needs. We have to figure out the best way. We have to know a little bit about a pedagogy here, right? About the art and science of teaching. He can develop a lesson and plan and activity that is at the average level. That way most students can successfully complete it and give extra support to students that struggle. Well, that sounds pretty good, but we might get a better answer. He can create an advanced assignment, a regular assignment, and a remedial assignment that uses mathematics from a previous grade level. No, we always use current grade level, so that's not right. C, after giving whole class instruction with a hands-on activity all students complete, he can work with small groups of students broken down by ability readiness level while the rest of the students complete an individual assignment. He will rotate small groups in order to meet the needs of all students. Well, and to meet with all students. This one is uh, very sound pedagogically because we always want to include activities for different types of learners. And also we wanna do small group instruction with different readiness levels, right? Broken down by ability level. So this is probably right, but let's look at D. After giving full class instruction, students can work in partners on the assignment. He should pair advanced students with struggling students and should use an average level assignment. Later, he should give advanced students an additional or challenging assignment and struggling students a remedial assignment. That one's not as effective at all. So C is the best answer. And then let's do one more. A first grade teacher takes the class on a nature walk around the school campus. They have been learning about insects and plants, so they look for bugs and plants. As they walk, the teacher incorporates words from their spelling list in their conversation and asks students if they remember how to spell them. She also mentions how the bugs and plants have changed over time, which they learned in science. When they leave their final stop, the playground, she asks them to guess how many steps they will take to get back to the classroom. They count their steps as they walk, and after returning to the classroom, they write a journal entry about the walk, including information about the bugs and plants they observe. They also record their estimate about how many steps between the playground and classroom and the actual number of steps. This is an example of a formal assessment. That would be something used for a grade, so that doesn't sound like a formal like, assessment. Activity in an interdisciplinary unit. Yes, that's whenever you connect different subjects, and we can tell she's using lots of different subjects, math and science and all kinds of things. Metacognitive strategy, that's when you think about your own thinking, self-evaluation, so that's not it. And scaffolding is extra language support you give, especially to language learners. So B is correct. If you need help passing the course subjects, especially the math right now, I'm really focusing on that. Give me a call at 361-846-0741 or check out coursesubjects.net. Thank you so much.